keeping a weapon steady isn't always that easy. That's why today we take a look at what we can do. There are a lot of hidden mechanics and things we can do in Tarkov that may not be that obvious or are completely hidden from you, so that we can go from a pattern like this to something more precise. And probably the easiest way would be to just mod a gun so it doesn't have any recoil left, but that's usually pretty expensive or limits us to just use SMGs basically. But since most of us probably play weapons that look more like this, we will take a look into mechanics that work with every gun, no matter how much recoil it has. But before, there's something you have to know about recoil in Tarkov, because the recoil stats are completely different for each gun. What do I mean? All of those four weapons have the same amount of recoil, 60. But as you can see, the pattern and the spread is completely different. So 60 recoil doesn't just mean 60 recoil, it's mainly dependent on the gun. So basically how it works, every gun has its own recoil pattern and the recoil stats of the gun just tell you how much that gets reduced. That also means that you can compare weapons solely based on the recoil stats. So for example when you compare an AK to an RPK, the RPK has less recoil with the same recoil stats. There are also other ways, apart from modding, to reduce the recoil. So for example, when we take a look at the ammunition that we can use for an MP7, then we of course have damage numbers, penetration values, but we also have recoil influence. Now that gets calculated for each round. So that means when we fill up a magazine with FMJ for example, we get the typical spray pattern in Tarkov. So the initial kick and then the automatic recoil kicks in. And from there, we don't have to do anything, the game controls the recoil for us. But if we now replace the first couple of bullets in the magazine by some rounds that have a recoil reduction stat, we can greatly influence the amount of recoil that we get at the initial kick. And this can greatly reduce the recoil overall. But now of course the question remains, how many rounds do we have to put on top of a magazine to get the best results? Now in Tarkov the automatic recoil control sets in after about 3 rounds. So to be safe, 5 rounds on top of a magazine with recoil reduction stats should be enough. This way we get the recoil reduction at the initial kick and once the automatic recoil control of the game kicks in, we then fire the usual rounds that you would normally use for whatever type of gun. And the difference is really impressive, you can see it here, it's almost as if there wasn't any initial kick and all the bullets are grouped at one point. Now of course the question which rounds have a recoil reduction stat and are still somewhat decent. The ballistic charge is linked in the description down below and you can basically just sort the values by recoil so you can check out for yourself if there is a caliber that you like but in short the mp7 for p90, 40ak the 7 and 40 if you find it, uh, maybe the US, but it's pretty bad. And that's it. But you know, having to manage that every single raid is pretty time consuming and a bit annoying. But there are also easier ways that just require a bit of practice. Because when we take a look at the recoil itself, the weapon climbs a bit, then comes down slightly before it stabilizes. Now, that's a very easy recoil pattern which we can control manually. Now that AK that you see right now has 70 recoil, which is quite a lot, but you get it down to an equivalent of about 40. Now pretty much every shooter has recoil patterns. Let's take a look at Apex Legends for example. The R301 produces exactly the same pattern every single time. We can reduce it a bit using barrel attachments, but the pattern stays the same. So what we do with our mouse is just the opposite. Using that we can control the weapon pretty accurately without any attachments. And that concept works in pretty much every shooter. Rainbow Six Siege, Valorant, Counter-Strike, you name it, it works the same. Now the good thing about Tarkov is basically that the recoil pattern is pretty simple. It's just a little kick and that's it. Now that's a pattern that we can practice and eventually control ourselves. So go into an offline raid or a shooting range, 
just spread the wall so that you get a feeling for how much kick a specific weapon has. And then to control it, just pull your mouse down pretty quickly at the beginning and then let it go upwards a little bit once the automatic recoil control kicks in. And it also works on longer ranges. And don't worry about the left to right pattern. It's pretty normal, almost impossible to control. And it can be a good thing actually. When the opponent moves into your shot basically, then well, you get a freebie. So what you want to do is primarily practice the vertical recoil control. That means that the optimal result would be a horizontal line. Now that's a bit ambitious, but you get the point. Now the important part is to build up muscle memory. Because when you're in a fight, you don't have time to remember, oh, I have to pull down. It has to happen as a sort of reflex. So hop into an offline raid factory, tag and curse, and practice that reflex. So every time you start shooting, you pull the mouse down. You start shooting, you pull the mouse down. Do that over and over and over again. Do that until it becomes naturally. Until you don't even realize that you're doing it. Now very important here is also that you use a gun with a lot of recoil. This RPK for example has 70 recoil. Don't use an M4 with 30 or a Vector with 30 recoil. You won't build up that muscle memory as effective with weapons like this. Take a weapon with a bit of mmm. <laughs> now this technique has a lot of advantages. Because you can reduce recoil without putting any money into modding. I for example love to play my default AK with around 60 recoil, but I can play the weapon as if it had 30 recoil less. Furthermore, I don't need specific ammo, I don't need to spend time mixing different rounds. So it's basically just the lazy way to reduce recoil. But it needs a bit of practice. Now, one more thing is that the recoil is dependent on whether you stand, crouch, lie down, or fly, whatever. <laughs> now we looked at hip fire in another video. That's good when mobility is most important at a given situation. But when it's more important to land your shots as fast as possible, then you get better results playing it like Counter-Strike or Valorant. So basically when you spot somebody, just stay still, start crouching and fire a gun. This way you get the least amount of recoil possible at the given situation. And if possible, you can even lay down, then it's really easy, you basically don't have any recoil at all. And that's basically all you can do to reduce recoil. And of course, you can combine that. Mod a good weapon, mix recoil reducing ammo, combine that with pulling your mouse down and you basically have a laser beam. Now just pick whatever method you feel comfortable or any combination of them. And that should really help you deal with recoil in Tarkov. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to thumbs up as it really helps the channel. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.